In the mythical world of ancient China, a land of legendary monsters, evil witches, and sinister villains, the wise monk Tripitaka and his protector Monkey set out on a treacherous journey in search of the fabled Scrolls of Wisdom. Joined by Pigsy and Sandy, these four companions travel together through this strange and magical world, enduring perilous adventures and dangerous adversaries on their mission for the Emperor and all of China. The Legends of the Monkey King is China's greatest story. It is an expedition unlike any other ever taken. It is the journey to the West. As the wise monk Tripitaka continued his westward quest for the books of wisdom with his companions Monkey, Pigsy, and Sandy, they drew near to the legendary temple of Long Life Mountain. There, under the shade of a thousand-year-old mystical tree, the immortal sage Chen Yuan Su sat playing his harp. While the immortal sage's heavenly music echoed through the mountain air, a single yellow bird flew toward the temple and down to the shady place where the sage sat playing. Clear wind, bright moon. We await your word, master. I have been honored with a summons to fly to the Milo Palace where I am to take tea with the celestial Buddha. Yes, yes master. master. While I am with the Buddha, you may expect a visit from the holy monk Tripitaka, to whom you'll make an offering. Two fruits from the ancient mystical tree. Is that quite clear? Yes, yes Master. Master, let me help you. The Temple of Long Life Mountain, a most sacred place, my friends. <laughs> well, I hate to say this, but it looks to me more like a place where they just put on airs and pretend to be holy. Do not be disrespectful. Who cares what kind of place this is, as long as they have lots of food and are generous to weary pilgrims? It is not food for the body among Sikhs, Pigsy, but food for the soul. <laughs> hey! No! They're getting away! Let's catch them! <laughs> Come on, let's catch them! Are you the holy monk Tripitaka? I see that I am expected. Welcome. Please, you must come inside and rest for a while. Huh? private chamber where you may pray in peace. I would very much like to do that. Thank you. The fifth door in the long building behind us opens into a large meditation room. May you be rewarded for your warm and generous hospitality. Everything is prepared right this way. If you are finished praying, we have a very special treat for you. Thank you, but I require nothing special. Don't refuse until you see it. My heart is most grateful, but I must decline. I'm quite sure he'll change his mind once he sees the sacred fruit. <clears throat> hmm. 
My master Who? told us to offer you two fruits from the sacred tree. They can only be picked with the golden staff. Aha! Here is your promised treat, master. Fruit from the mystical tree. Are they not beautiful? Huh? What is this? I cannot accept this offering. I am not worthy to eat the fruit. But it's just fruit. <laughs> See? It's ripe. It won't hurt you. I would not dream of touching it. You don't know what you're missing, and I'm sure you're famished. Please, take some. I know you mean well, but I must refuse. But uh, you really should try it. Who knows when you'll see fruit like this again? Please, honor my request. Well, if that's the way you feel, we'll take it away. What an awful waste. I'll say. Hey, why don't we eat it ourselves? <clears throat> hmm? Um, monkey, I'm hungry. Would you get me some fruit from that tree in the garden? No, I won't, because first of all, that would be stealing, and second of all, that's sacred fruit. It's only for the holiest of people. <gasps> I try to be holy. There's a big difference between trying to be holy and being holy, Pixie. Are you saying you won't pick me a piece of fruit because I'm not good enough, or are you afraid? Uh, I'll do it for you, but just this once, all right? <laughs> but you'll need the golden staff. And how on earth would you know that? I overheard the two servants talking. You can't get the fruit without it. Do you know where they keep this golden staff? Beside the meditation chamber. Good <laughs> luck! What are you daydreaming about, Pigsy? My stomach. I got him. Hmm? Hmm? What in the world are those? Fruit from the sacred tree. Why, those fruits are legendary. All my life I've heard tales of the ancient sacred tree of Long Life Mountain. But I never for a moment dreamed I'd get a chance to taste its fruit myself. Well, Sandy, this is your lucky day. There's enough here for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop talking and start eating. Hmm. I don't think anyone's likely to notice that three pieces of fruit are missing, but just to be safe, why don't we keep this to ourselves, all right? Mm. Go back! <laughs> the golden snap is missing! Ah! Uh. I don't understand, Clearwind. I'm sure I put it back after I picked the fruit. Hmm. Hmm? Oh. To the tree! Hurry! Look! Someone has stolen three pieces of fruit! What nerve! Here you sit, pretending to be holy, when you have the theft of three fruits from the sacred tree on your conscience. In many ways I am weak, but never would I commit such a wicked deed as that. You have come to the wrong place with your accusations. Very well then. If you can also vouch for the honesty of your three companions, then we'll look somewhere else for the thief. That is something I cannot do. Then we'll just have to go and question them ourselves. You mean us? Question us about what? There are three fruits missing from the sacred tree in the temple garden. Do you know anything about it? I'm the one who took the fruit, Master. I'm awfully sorry if our actions caused you any embarrassment, but you see, we were curious to see what the sacred fruit tasted like. We meant no harm. Your apology is even more insulting than your thievery. We do not accept it. Oh, come on. He said he was sorry. What does a person have to do to be forgiven around here? You people are too harsh. <laughs> we'll forgive you when you apologize sincerely. <sighs> How dare you doubt me? I meant every word I said. Ha! It appears you're a lawyer as well as a thief. <sighs> Enough, monkey. This theft of the sacred fruit is a grave matter, and if you truly wish to show our hosts that your words are spoken from your heart, then you must humbly ask for their forgiveness. 
Master, I think you're being unfair. If you want to remain as my disciple, Monkey, you'll do it now. Monkey, you may pull the wool over your master's eyes, but not over ours. We know you're not the least bit sorry. You're a thief and you're a liar as well. A thief and a liar as well. A thief and a liar as well. A thief. Finally, Monkey could take no more and lost his temper. saying a word about what he had done, Monkey led his fellow travelers out of the temple, leaving behind the two monks in a trance and a fallen sacred tree. A beautiful day finds the travelers continuing their journey to the west. None of his companions were aware that Monkey had lost his temper at the temple they had just visited and had angrily uprooted an ancient and sacred tree. Meanwhile, the immortal sage had returned to the temple and Monkey would soon learn a lesson. Bright moon, clear wind. <laughs> huh? What goes on here? <sighs> Welcome. Open. Oh. 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 Meanwhile, our travelers had stopped to rest in a shady place not far from the temple. Monkey, coming! Your wish is my command. I would like to know why you were so eager that we leave the Temple of Long Life Mountain before the Sage returned. Why, Master, I couldn't bear for a pilgrimage to be delayed a single second more. Yeah? Huh? Besides, the sooner we reach India, the sooner we'll fill our bellies. Hmm. Yeah? Huh? It's them, all right. You stay here. I shall deal with Tripitaka myself. Yes, yes master. master. Uh, monkey, look up there. Don't worry. I'll go and see what they want. <laughs> Greetings, great sage. You are accused of stealing sacred fruit and uprooting the mystical tree. Go ahead, accuse away. I'm as innocent as a newborn babe. Do you not know that denying a crime only worsens the offense and that your only hope for mercy is to confess? My good sir, I confess to nothing but a charming personality. Not only are you a thief and a vandal, but also an arrogant little imp. <laughs> 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 It is not wise for Monkey to engage in combat with an immortal. I can help him, Master, if that's all right with you. No. Monkey has brought this on himself. <laughs> You're a most worthy and skilled fighter. <laughs> skilled enough to beat you. Your boast is a very impressive one, but you're outmatched this time. I've never been beaten, and I'm not about to be. 
If you're so sure of yourself, then fly into my sleeve. Nice try, but I wasn't born yesterday. So, you're afraid. <laughs> you flatter yourself. I can't be fooled so easily. Here's your chance to make a fool of me. Well, I know I'll escape, so I don't mind trying. Come then. <clears throat> I do apologize for not mentioning that my sleeve is magical. And don't worry, you'll have company soon enough. <laughs> hey! Come and see who I just lassoed on his way to the heavens! Huh? <laughs> He's heavier than he looks, though! <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, that's better. Now all of you, come to me. That's right, come to me. Yes, come to me. Come! Last time you were here, you were my guests. Now you are my prisoners. But you've no cause to hold them. I'm the one who's guilty. Explain yourself. I'm the one who stole the fruit and uprooted the sacred tree. I admit it. But my companions are innocent. Don't punish them. Besides, escaping will be easy for me. Oh, you think so, do you? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. What are you up to, monkey? <laughs> <laughs> what vile trickery is at work here? Where is he? Huh. Huh? Uh. Uh. A sage you may be, and immortal too, but you're no match for the likes of me. Indeed I'm not, which is why I'm leaving. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, immortal one! Huh? Over here! Hmm? You haven't caught hmm. me, and you never ever will! Hmm? Ah. <laughs> so now what do you want to try? Do you have any more tricks up your sleeve, Great Sage, or is that the best you could do? How you prance about and joke as if you were not responsible for the destruction of the Great Sacred Tree. Have you no conscience? Ha! <laughs> conscience? Sure I do! I'll believe it. When I see it. I would be more than pleased to restore the sacred tree to life, and I'll do it before sundown. But only if you release all my companions. And what if you should fail? That's never happened, but if I do, I shall agree to remain here as your prisoner forever. It is agreed. Hmm. <laughs> Farewell. Pilgrims, I release you. The monkey has promised to restore the tree by sundown, though if he fails, he will remain my prisoner forever. Monkey is very powerful, but I can't imagine how anyone can fix a tree that's been pulled out by the roots. Where is your faith? Monkey flew straight away to the South Sea Island home of the goddess Quan Yin to ask for her help in restoring the sacred tree to life. Oh, huh? What is your business here? Uh, I need to speak to the goddess about a very important matter, if you don't mind. She will not speak to the destroyer of the tree. <gasps> but... You are under orders to leave the island immediately. Oh, uh, I humbly beg the goddess to forgive me for my shameful actions. 
What am I going to do now? Monkey left the island, his heart heavy with bitter disappointment. But although Quan Yin was angry with him, she was still keeping a watchful eye over him. Monkey was soon back at the Temple of Long Life Mountain. <clears throat> Great Sage, have you honored our agreement? I have released your friends as agreed. Are you able to restore the tree? No. You must honor your part of the agreement then. I submit to you, Great Sage, and I will be your prisoner forever. Monkey, did you fix the tree? I can't. The goddess wouldn't help you? She wouldn't even see me. Please accept my apology. Can you not release him as well? It is out of the question. None of this would have happened if I wasn't so greedy. If anyone should be prisoner, it's me. <laughs> if you must keep Monkey prisoner, then keep us all, for we cannot bear to be parted. Oh. No, Master. You should not be punished for my wrongdoing. Gentle pilgrims, your loyalty is admirable, but there is no need for anyone to be punished. Does this mean that you're not angry with me anymore? All that I wished was to teach you a lesson. Oh, I've learned my lesson. I promise you that. When one is guilty of wrongdoing, one should have the courage to confess and apologize. I know. Please accept my sincere apology, Great Sage. Oh, sacred tree, take root once more. Ah. Let us celebrate this restoration of our sacred tree by feasting on its fruit in the temple. <sighs> to peace and harmony. To peace and harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Early next morning, the four travelers set off once again. Bye, <laughs> Monkey! Goodbye and thank you! Thanks for everything! Goodbye! <laughs> Safe journey! <laughs> there remained many a mile to be traveled on their journey to the west. <laughs>